Welcome back, guys, to Factorial Meiosis. This is episode number 13. Last time, we set up this cell, the destroyer cell, with the purpose of creating destroyer capsules. And today, we're going to spend some time trying to find the best way to kill some aliens, because we have a lot to kill. What I would like to do, not necessarily entirely in this video, but in the next phase of alien killing, I want to take all this stuff off to the left. Uh, hopefully to create less total length of uh, land real estate that I have to defend via wall and turrets and whatnot. So right now we are defending one, two, basically three sides and we've got water on this side. If this turns out to be a peninsula, that will be great because then we won't have to defend this at all. Uh, or if it narrows down a lot, then we'll have more of a bottleneck and I'll have a whole lot more territory to expand in. Uh, so... I modified the cell since the last episode. Not only is it providing us with the destroyer capsules in these chests, I also have it making uh, distractor capsules as well. Because I want to do some experiments, and I kind of had a feeling that destroyer capsules would not be the end-all be-all I wanted them to be. Now, back in the day, several patches ago, destroyer capsules were amazing. Because, and uh, we're going to mess around with them here, Right now, I am set up with the personal RoboBorts, and we're gonna change that kit out to be faster. So right now I've got, oh, let me put these down. Right now I got uh, four legs and three fusion reactors. Now if I want to run more legs, I have to take this out. Okay, now I'm pretty speedy. If I put this in, I can barely manage one shield before I seriously start to slow down. So uh, basically, I think we'll try this, this setup first. We're going to use two of these fusion reactors, six legs, and one shield. Otherwise, as soon as I take damage, uh, I'm going to get slowed down and trapped. So what you used to be able to do is you could pull out a bunch of destroyer capsules and let them basically slingshot around you run up to the alien bases, and the destroyer capsules would just melt. All the bases, all the worms. And you would kite the uh, the enemies around long enough until you could uh, just, like, focus on them. Until you had enough that you decided to gun them down. The problem is, now there are the biggest aliens, the green ones, the behemoths. So we've got behemoth splitters, spitters. These guys have 200 health. And then the... Uh, Behemoth Biters, they have 500 health, and they have ridiculously high armor, which makes them resistant to physical damage. And I'm not sure uh, how their resistance is to electric damages is. So the, the Destroyer Capsules do electric damage. The Defender or Distractor Capsules do laser, which ignores armor, which is why these turrets are still effective. So uh, what we're going to try, we're going to try these guys first with super speedy. We're going to try to run up. And melt some bases. I kind of suspect it's not going to be as good because uh, we're not going to be very effective against the high armor targets we have now. And I can have 94 <laughs> followers. Okay, so here we go. And it's kind of dark, but you can kind of see what's going on here. So we should be able to outrun them. And if I just run in here... BAM! Dead. So that is the problem... The worms killed us instantly, so we can try another version of that, a slightly more patient version. The, the goal here is to find the most streamlined, the fastest way to kill the aliens. So if you see a bunch of worms around, you need to use uh, poison capsules. And I'm trying to slingshot my little guys around, but uh, it's not going to be that effective, even with this much speed. Uh, just because of the sheer number of aliens I have to avoid, and I have to also avoid uh, the worms. Because I just don't have enough shields to really deal with them. So periodically we've got to retreat back here. And the spitters will do a lot of damage to me as well. So let's wait for that to, uh, this huge wave to melt. And I've got 80 guys left. Oops, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I meant to click this one. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's get the slingshot going. Yikes. 
So th anytime these guys whiz by the uh, the little nests, they do melt them. That is true. Uh, the problem is, I think it's a little bit too indirect. It's taking a little bit too long. So let's wait for those guys to die, and let's go pick up some of the distractors. I think that might be more effective. Uh, because the cool thing about these guys is uh, they stay in place. And they also don't count towards your total. So we can basically just spam them. Same way we do the poison ones. So let's put those there. We're still going to go with the speedy. Maybe I want uh, a little bit more shields. Let's see, what is the radius the same? Yeah, the radius is the same. Okay, let's try this speedy variety first, and then we will uh, try a slightly more defensive roll. So these guys do laser damage, which is good, and... Oh, I'm taking damage. The, uh, the worms deal a lot of damage. The poison is good against the worms. But there's so many guys coming from these nests, and if you're curious, my evolution factor is essentially at 100%. Uh, I'm wondering if the turret creep is just going to be the fastest. We could do turret creep and distractor capsules, because distractor capsules... Um... Huh, yeah. I guess I could be doing turret creep and distractors at the same time. Let's just pump a bunch of these guys in here and try to outrange these... Th oh, taking so much damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of worms. Holy moly. But I'm fast enough to outrange all these guys. The spitters can do a lot of damage, but I'm I'm not that fast that I can just run in there willy-nilly because all these guys are all going to spit. They're going to deal enough damage that uh, it's not... Yeah, look at that. I... Just, I just got spit on once. I'm probably going to die trying to get back out of range. Oh, gosh, no. So I think whatever we do, it needs to involve some version of the turret creep. Oh, okay, now my speed is back up. Yeah, I'm just not getting close enough to really be able to do much. The idea here is to go as fast as possible, and we're not going all that fast, so... I think, really, the uh, the idea going forward is going to be... ...to use the robots. Okay, so let's put some of these back in here. Let's go... Oh, no, I didn't want that. Um, I wanted to get rid of these. Let's put that back in there. And let's put one more RoboPort. Put you up there, just for... Just because it looks nicer like that. I'm going to be slow for a minute while those charge. Now, one thing I did try, which I had an idea, and I tested this during a two-hour live stream, where all I did was uh, basically fiddle with different ideas of killing aliens. I had the idea that I could scale up my RoboPort idea and uh, turret creep way faster with bigger sections, just create a huge blueprint, and stamp it down all at once if I made RoboPorts and uh, storage chests that directly feed into the RoboPorts, uh, part of the blueprint. And so I had uh, RoboPorts all up and down here in a big line. And the problem is that it just takes too long for a robots down here and a storage chest down at the bottom to uh, fill out a blueprint way up here at the top. So that didn't work. The only way that's going to work is if I scale up in terms of the resources available to me. So right now I've got a pretty decent amount of turrets, but I would need like thousands of extra turrets, and I just don't have that right now. Maybe in the future we can try that again, but it didn't work. I also tried a smaller blueprint, maybe about twice the length of this guy, that had uh, some RoboPorts on it to keep all of the robots in one spot so that uh, they would take items from storage chests faster. That was too slow as well. And so it turns out the fastest thing is to turret creep with the robots. Like so. I mean, look how fast they place that. This is faster than doing it from the uh, logistics system. It seems like the robots from my personal RoboPort, it's, this may be, uh, I may be like mistaken, but it seems like they are faster than the ones uh, coming from the RoboPorts. That might just be because 
The ones in the RoboPorts have to go from the RoboPort to a storage chest to put the item down. And for my own system, oh, this is all self-contained. I've got the robots on me, and they take the, the stuff directly from me without any travel distance. So I think that's... I, this is a bit slow, though. I would like to be able to move faster. But this is probably the way to go. Doing it this way. And I've doubled up the, uh, the, the amount of turrets in the blueprint, by the way, if you didn't notice. So let's go ahead and back up and take these. And then uh, I want to do this. Protect this flank. Let's keep that in range. Your, the radius of your constructible area increases by a certain percentage for every uh, RoboPort you have in your armor. So I want to have basically a... Uh, I guess it doesn't overlap very well. That's okay. I want to have a flank on that side, and we're going to push out to the water, killing aliens. Maybe I can use these guys to speed stuff up, and also some poison to speed up killing the worms. Poison capsules have always been useful because of the speed we can kill the worms at. Okay, place another one down, and then we'll back up now that that's placed, and do this. So yeah, I tried uh, I tried some various methods, and I think the good old turret creep is gonna be the best idea, at least until I've got thousands and thousands of uh, construction robots and spare turrets, basically. And until that point, I think we're gonna be doing it this way. Okay, put that down. So what I wanna do, I guess, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to kill all of these aliens. I want to push out to the water and then push up a bit and create sort of a, uh, a little fortif- Oh, gosh. Out of range. Put it too far away. I want to create a little beachhead here and then start to explore along the coast so we can get an idea if this peninsula is actually going to be what we want. All right, so progress report. I've made it a decent way up the coast, and so far, so good. Things are looking like, well, exactly like I predicted. Okay, and I've sort of gotten into a rhythm here. I put down the turrets, then I put down some distractors, then I put down some poison, then I put down more turrets. That is a lot of worms right there, holy cow. Uh, the distractors, not only are they targeting the worms, and also targeting the bases and basically anything in their range, they keep the worms from targeting me while I lay down the poison. That's probably the most important part. And I'll wait for the poison to disappear before I add more... Uh, before I add more of the turrets. Oh, another good thing that the poison is good for is clearing trees. I've actually been using them to clear trees instead of using my shotgun. Okay, let's put that right there. And every once in a while, I'll get get my elbow grease on, get my hands dirty a little bit. Not too much, though, because I'm not very tanky with this build. But uh, overall, this has been the best way to do it. Okay. Let's get some distractors up here. Oh, we, we angered some, some locals. Okay, put the turrets down. Uh, another thing I've been doing is putting down radars periodically. You can see it carving out some vision here. And look at what the coast is doing. This is very nice. Uh, this is exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. And even at the worst case scenario... Oh, did it just discover more water right there? Oh, whoa. Okay, let's push forward. Robots, onward. Kill the alien scum. Actually, I'm the alien scum. Kill the local scum. We are very close to seeing some cool stuff. I should probably put down... Uh, actually, I should probably put down a whole bunch of radars right here just to speed up the overall process. Let's put down three. Let's back up for a moment and pick up some of these turrets. The, uh, the hope of the choke point is real. Okay, pick up all those guys. Oh, yes, I can see water there. It looks like it starts to get wider there as well, but that's okay. If we can have a choke point there, and then I can take this whole area, 
and uh, in the long run have less area def to defend than I did when we started in terms of the amount of wall with turrets I have. That would be awesome. Here we go. And let's clear out a decent space to the north as well. Go get them, robots! Okay, distractors, go, go, go! Uh, Alright, we need more turrets. More distractors. More auto saves. Okay, they're distracted. Lay that poison down. Get in there. Oh, the, the sound engine is overloaded. We're not hearing anything. You're not here. Oh, okay. Be very careful here. Oh, boy. That's a lot of damage. Okay, now get in here. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, good. I like to have a nice amount of buffer in between me and the, uh, the turrets and the aliens, basically. So my turrets get attacked less often. We have to repair them less often. Yeah, okay. Time to back up after we clear out this little section here. Let's take these last few bases. Uh, and add some more radars, just a few, over here. Right over here at the edge of our ever-expanding domain. The robots are going crazy. Let's put two more down. Yeah, it looks like... Well, it might end right there. We still can't quite see. And it might not... To tell you what, we actually have to explore that. That's very encouraging, but uh, it doesn't tell us the whole story. We're going to have to explore the whole coastline. And then put the squeeze on the aliens. We're going to create a circle of turrets and just... Close it bit by bit like we're a python. And they're a mouse. And we're slowly suffocating the life out of them. <laughs> That's a nice analogy, I guess. Seeing as how they're a bunch of alien... Um, insect type things. We'll, we'll just flip the script. Okay, let's leave all those others there. Got several hundred left, and no damaged anything in my inventory. That's pretty good. Pick up these guys. And I still have quite a few robots. I've been... Oh, no. Power! Did we get the power back? Now we got the power back. I cut the power off by uh, picking up the power lines. Okay, we need to finish our circle. So I'll tell you what, let's uh, let's back this up. So let's create a line back here, and then let's pick up all these. Um, after the, okay, they're almost done. I, I'm gonna have to repair that other one later, but that's okay. And then grab those. Good. And actually, this one too. They're gonna cut it off. No. Okay, we're still good. Okay, let's put down a few of these guys that are broken, and where's my car? Let's go grab the car and inch that forward. It is holding... Oh, okay. We cut the power to one of you. So let's put that radar up here. All right, where's my car? So It's so hard to see the car. I kind of wish the light stayed on all the time or something. So it was a little bit easier to see. Okay, park it right there, pick those up, and these really only need one row of turrets ever since we doubled up the overall layers, two rows of turrets per, I guess we'll leave, uh, alright, we'll, we'll just move you, uh, we'll, but we'll keep some here, and we'll put you next to the large power poles, so when I pick up the turrets, these guys will still be here. Um, okay. I need some poison to clear the trees. Get the trees, guys. Okay, and distractors. As soon as that poison disappears, we're going to advance our turrets some more. Let's go grab this guy. Yeah! Elbow grease! There we go. Okay, good. Now I've got room for the turrets. Um, since we're kind of getting... we've got the water on our left, let's arrange the turrets in this direction. 
do that. Get some distractors out. As many things as we can manage to have out at once. Maybe even use my shotgun every now and then. Okay. Just move our wall sideways like that. Distractors go. Uh, poison capsules go. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, we definitely... It definitely looks like... I've got to explore this much, but that looks like an area that we can create a choke point at. That is exactly what I was looking for. Awesome. All right, guys, check it out. The noose, it tightens. After I kill some more aliens. Just a moment. Be right with you. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. More turrets, please. No. B oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're not happy. They're not happy. I've got turrets. I've got lots of stuff. I just need to wait for the poison to disappear. Let's lay some of these down, and let's actually, uh, let's enlist... Come on, man. Auto-save interrupt my flow. Let's enlist the aid of some, uh, destroyer capsules. So I think I'm, I've basically gotten into a good rhythm of using all the tools available. The turrets, the destroyers, the distractors, and the poison all at once. That's how you melt them. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, but don't get yourself killed while you're trying to do that. And let's drop a radar. And what do we see after we roll up in here and just murder these fools? Okay, distract them. Distract them. Yes, distractors and destroyers. Oh, God, I'm going to die. That's the way to go. That is the way to go. Just melted a bunch of those guys. I need to use the two... In conjunction, look what we got. We have a choke point. That's exactly what I wanted. And after, well, hang on, let's, guys, shut up a little bit. I'm trying to talk. It is so noisy, by the way. I'm trying to talk with all this noise going on. All right, let's run away a little bit so that the noise diminishes. And we can uh, pick up some of these turrets. Yeah. There's the pollution, by the way. And you can see that the little bottleneck over here is very far from the pollution. So hopefully, this won't get attacked much at all. And I left some power lines out just to, uh, just to keep the aliens from re remaking all their little bases and spawners and stuff there. So um, basically, at this point, what I will do is start marching this line northwards until we cut them all off. Then I'll have a bunch of extra turrets. This line is already finished. I guess I'm going to need a, sh a short line here. But it seems like that's going to be the end of it. That is exactly what I wanted. That is really good news. So I think in the short term what I will do is uh, kill this little base here. Then retreat a little bit. Oh, all those guys died. I'm going to kill this base right here. Then retreat a bit. And then start marching that southern wall northwards. Until the noose is completely tightened. Until the constriction is finished. Yep. Yep. Take that. Oh, I melted you. You're all melted. Okay, let's get this one last one. Ba bam And then uh, reverse. Advance and retreat. Pick up the turrets. Oh, okay. I guess my, uh, my little dudes are out of juice. I've been taxing them too hard. I guess I'll leave that line right there. Yeah, I'll leave that line. Pick up these turrets. And then start marching this line northwards. And we will have doubled our area. More or less. Almost. This is the total amount of space our base is taking up. Which is already a huge amount of space. But I will have doubled that. The only problem is I am already actually running low on... Uh, Oil here, we're going to need to take more. The nearest one I can find, there's a cluster of three right there. One there, three more there. Uh, so yeah, we will eventually have to march southward as well. Maybe we'll find another bottleneck down here. That would be nice. And then looking around the northern section, I'm not seeing any oil. Well, there's one little guy right there. But that's going to be a continuing problem, so maybe pretty soon we're going to have to start looking into effect transmission, effect transmission with the beacons. 
Uh, the basic beacon. There's no advanced beacon, as far as I'm aware. And the upgrade modules to get the most that we can out of the oil. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. We will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.